Okay, this one's going to be a boring one to start with, but I'm pretty sure I can make it come up a treat. So we're going to start with full colour. Oh, right. How big is our enlargement going to be? We're not going all the way 400. We're going to go... How far are we going to make it? 300. 390, so 10% shy of 400. So let's see how we go with this one. Okay. Going to add a fair amount of contrast, but not too much. So I'm just going to rattle through these. Going to make it a little bit light. Right. Colour balance. Actually, we're not going to add that. I think we're going to... Oh, that's a tough choice. I think we're going to leave the other colours, cyan and black. It, we'll leave them at the normal settings. We want... This is a red and black original, so... Maybe, by rights, we should add some more black. And I think the cyan is just going to stay in there because we just want black and red to start to kick off. We're gonna, I do think we're going to make a dual colour job and we're just going to keep it as close to the original and set it... Well, you'll find out how I'm doing this. So it's soft and cosy heat control socks. I've, I've done a video of them too, but they're really nice and warm. Uh, but anyway, we're just going. That's just the product label off of it. So we're just taking this, and we're just going to throw it in the recycle when we're finished. But this is, we're just making making. I'm just using all sorts of shit to make my demos. It's amazing what boring articles can become really interesting with a photocopier and an artist. Let's see how it goes. So that's interesting. So that's been swirled. That looks, I think that'll be a good one for a four-way uh, mirror image. So we're going to take this. This is our lady striped socks. They're really warm and really nice on a cold winter's, really good in a cold winter weather that we have. It's not that cold. Climate change, global warming has made our winter a lot cold, warmer, not colder, warmer. So it's more... For me, it's more bearable, but it's not good for this planet. And some people die of heat because of this, you know, especially in places which is rarely arid. A lot of people die of heat exhaustion. They die of thirst, you know. It's just such an unfair world we live in, where people in poor countries... Well, it's not just poor countries. Even places like, I think, even England, you get people dying of heat heat stress or heat heat um, exhaustion so it's not just the third world countries and I've even heard of people in Australia the odd just a handful of people dying during a heat wave so seriously it's not it's a serious big problem we have but these rich people in power all these rich people just don't seem to care or Oh, they can just switch on their fucking air con. Well, go fuck your air con. I don't have air con myself, so I have to put up with this fuck shit. Ugh. But they just don't care. <laughs> All these people running big corporations and not giving a shit about the little guy. <laughs> not caring about the little uh, places on earth, like places like Kiribati, a little island, only just barely feet above sea level they're going to get washed away they already are already big, big vicious cyclones are wreaking havoc on these tiny little island nations like Kiribati and soon the whole the whole country is going to be sunk you know it's going to sink it's literally sinking into the ocean because the the ice caps are melting very fast they keep increasingly fast melting these ice caps and if we don't stop soon we're not going to be able to stop this even when we want to because it'll be like a freight train 
hitting a level crossing. There's a car park, there's a car stalled on the level crossing and that car's got to get off before the train hits. And even if, the, even if you can see the train and it's like a certain amount of whatever distance it is, and it, say it's 100 metres, for, for a, purely for example's sake, and it needs 150 metres to stop, if it stops, if it's trying to apply the brakes at 50 meters, 100 meters to the to the stalled vehicle, basically the train's not going to stop until 150 meters. So it's going to have 10 meters, or should I say 50 meters, to smash into the car on the level crossing. And you'd hope the poor owner would get the fuck out of there because the train ain't going to stop. So even when the train fucking sees the car, it applies the brakes. Oh, this is probably not really well explained, sorry. Well, the train's not going to stop in time, even when he applies the brakes and thinks he has time to to stop for the stalled vehicle. He's just going to smash right into the stalled vehicle and he's going to stop, come to a stop long after he's destroyed the vehicle and hopefully not the owner inside it if he's, or he's trying to push it off the tracks. But basically... You can't stop it like a freight train. It's just too too late. It's going to be too late. And it's just not fair on these little countries that have to drown in the ocean because they're such... They're only just slightly... Only just barely feet above sea level. I mean, shit, it's just unfair. And these countries don't make... Don't have much of a carbon footprint compared with places like the US, the UK, Australia... Canada, whatever, or I don't know if Canada's causing much of a footprint, but basically there are all sorts of countries. I'm just naming a few places. Uh, so, you know, these little island nations, they're only small. They don't... Now, I think we got it. We forgot something. Yes, we've got yellow. Sorry, I wasn't concentrating. But basically, these little island nations don't make much of a footprint. They try to live traditionally as much as they can. They're primitive. They're not manufacturing things or or they don't have a huge population, so they don't make much of an impact. But it's these big first world countries that are destroying these third world nations or these little island nations but through their fucking climate change and global warming. So it's not fucking fair, but nothing's fair in this fucking world, it seems. Uh... But anyway, you can see what I've done. So yeah, what's this got to do with this? Well, whatever. It happens.